Back in the early 1960s, Aurora Models produced a series of monster kits that became one of the cornerstones of fantastic modeling. Recently, Polar Lights has been reissuing some of the rarest of these models, and George Ganser has been building them. Here we have the, the Bride of Frankenstein kit, uh, again, an Aurora release. Um, I believe this is also 1965 or so. Uh, it came out about the same time as The Witch. Not a very popular kit, uh, and also uh, the, the molds were a real problem. I guess the molds broke at some point, and this kit was never reissued in the, in the Glow version. Um, in my opinion, one of the I think one of the more um, lifelike and creative sculpting jobs done by the uh, the Aurora sculptors. Well, one of the challenges with this kit is the glassware and uh, Polar Lights. Again, this is a Polar Lights reproduction. Polar Lights was very wise in issuing glassware in clear plastic, and, and one is uh, able to actually uh, uh, fill these kits with liquid. Um, my main retort flask here has uh, actually, the liquid has dried up somewhat. There's a smaller amount of liquid in there than when I, when I started, when I, after I built this kit. But uh, it does show the, uh, the liquid in the, in the uh, flask. Um, I also tried to add a detailing of the liquid distilling over in that uh, distillation tube. And uh, put a little extra touch on the, uh, um, the generator on the right. Uh, take a little piece of wire and make a little uh, arc so it looks like a Van, Van de Graaff generator type. The bride herself was um, a lot of fun to build. Very difficult uh, to get the, uh, the horizontal seam out of the arm and the body. You really have to do a lot of work to get that out. But it has to be taken out otherwise the kit does not look real. Um, I used again a, a bone tan base on the bandages and then I did a, uh, uh, a very light brown wash uh, highlighted it with an airbrush on the, the high ends to make it uh, look a little lighter. And then um, I went in with a uh, raw sienna wash to really highlight up the bandages. And I, again, the, the, I would not suggest using white on this kit. The bandages should have a, an old yellow look. The sculpting on the face of this kit is pretty good. It looks a lot like the uh, uh, actress Elsa Lancaster who played with Bayer Frankenstein. Um, what I did with the hair was, I again started off with a black base coat and then I dry brushed in raw, uh, burnt sienna, raw sienna and actually a little bit of yellow I believe to bring in some more of the highlights. Um, I even painted the, uh, the streak black as well and then just uh, used gray and white uh, to dry brush um, and bring out the highlights. Uh, I've seen a lot of people just paint that whole thing white but uh, if you think about it, if, or if you've seen the movie uh, there's quite a bit of uh, dark color that pierced through that um, that wavy uh, streak on the on the right and left side, so it's important to get that realism in there. Um, the face again is uh, painted in a uh, sort of a dead flesh. Uh, you, you must get that uh, scar on the on the neck as it was in the movie, and um, again using some uh, uh, raw sienna, burnt sienna type washes to bring out some of the highlighting on the shadows uh, of the face. For the, uh, the base of this kit and a lot of the other parts of the table and, and uh, the wall behind it, uh, you can have a lot of fun with your various grays, um, light, medium, dark grays. Um, I used weathering washes on the, uh, the base and also on the wall. It's very hard to see the detail on the wall because the, uh, uh, the kit's really blocking that, but uh, uh, I used a glazing technique to bring out the highlights in the wall. Um, and a number of washes to, uh, to bring out details on the base. And uh, this was actually uh, the first uh, kit that I had entered in one of the Polar Lights uh, modeling contests. And uh, this one came in uh, in their first uh, contest as a grand prize winner. So it's, uh, it's one of my favorites. The King Kong Thronster. This is actually a Polar Lights reproduction of one of the rarest Aurora Monster Rod kits. And um, this was first put out by Aurora in 1966. Polar Lights put it out recently uh, at the end of 1998. The main uh, figure part of the kit, the Kong figure, was actually fairly difficult to build. Um, the figure was sculpted such that the, uh, uh, the shoulder areas are very, very sloped. So there's a, still a pronounced 
sort of a shelf on the on the Kong's right shoulder, as you can see there. But uh, uh, I've seen that in most every kit that's been made. Here's a close-up uh, of the engine area, some of the engine detail. Uh, what I used was a uh, the bare metal foil product to uh, to cover the exhaust pipes. Uh, so that's actually a very thin film foil. Uh, then the rest of the uh, the piping on the engine, uh, I, I basically used a uh, an acrylic uh, sort of metallic silver paint and that was also used to paint the uh, the manifolds and the uh, uh, intake bells. Here's some of the detailing on the on the rear wheels. Um, key thing about this kit is to paint the body uh, a sort of a banana yellow. I think the, the banana yellow looks good with the Kong figure. One of the neatest things about this kit are the uh, are the cat heads on the side of the throne. Um, very fun to paint uh, what I actually did was I um, painted the the eyes a uh, sort of a uh, a bone tan color, and then uh, put black in the uh, the iris area, and then I went over the eyes with uh, Tamiya clear yellow, which kind of gave them that uh, sort of a glassy cat eye look. And here's the uh, some of the detail on the back of the kit, uh, showing the uh, the spider web. Uh, I've seen it painted in a number of ways. A lot of people like to paint that web white and then put the spider on. What I, what I did was I painted it uh, flat or base coated it black and then uh, dry brushed in uh, gray, bone tan, and a little bit of white and then silver uh, to kind of give it an aged look. And then I just painted the, uh, the spider a flat black uh, with a little bit of brown and gray dry brushing to bring them out.